definitely is movie soundtrack stuff. Right? But bro, that thing is almost talking. Bro, these guys are so yeah. that guitar. I can almost understand what the guitar is saying. Yeah, he's emotional, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, it's oh, he. Welcome back, Shot for Shot reacts with D and Dre. Yes, I'm Dre. This is D. Um, thanks again for uh, tuning in and uh, watching us react to some videos. Um, our one of our subscribers actually um, uh, like recommended this video for us. Um, I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I do not know. I know there's a band name tool, yeah, but I ain't yeah. heard. I don't. I've never on purpose listened to anything from that band. <laughs> well, here's the thing. This is how you know that we actually read the comments for us. And we love y'all, by the way. Subscribers, oh, yeah. we love each and every one of your oh, yeah. comments. Good, bad, indifferent. It don't matter. I read, we read all of them. We comment the most of them. Yep. Uh, and so here we go on a different journey right here. Yep. So I'm looking forward to it. Two, and as it called, the pot. The okay. Pot. Yeah, the pot. We're about to jump in this pot. All right, I don't know what we, all right, what kind of pot we talking about? I don't know, man. I know it's gonna be we some. Uh... That's my all color. Who be who be uh, smoking? Who uh, making crack popular? Like, <laughs> why is that? I don't, I don't know. know. Reagan, I mean... Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I hold deep in muddy waters. You practically raised the. Hold up. Wait a minute. For, okay, before we even get to the music, this right here is so trippy right now. Like, uh, are we coming or going? Like, who's on uh, first? Yeah, so, I'm already, a, this it looks like some peyote acid type stuff on the screen. It might be Illuminati. There's a bunch of eyes, right? Never mind. I don't okay, know. I, anyway. You don't like this. You don't like this. Okay. But. Okay. The, the, the way is this came in with the. Um, with, just the audio, yeah. Just the just the vocals, um, in that weird timing mm -hmm. was like super trippy to me. I was like, okay, okay, I'm I'm feeling yeah. all of this. I'm listening to the vibe, and then like the then I, I didn't expect the the, the I guess the the car the guitars to come in. With, it's not the, yeah, it's not like yeah. a bass guitar with a, it. This is very trippy. Like I love like I already okay. So we watched one other uh, rock video so far. And um, it was Rage Against the Machine. And, you know, I was impressed with just the, the musicality of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I, I, for some reason in my mind, when I thought of rock music, I thought like, oh, they just about to, go, they about to just go rah, rah, go crazy, whatever. But this is this is more creative than anything out okay, that look, I listen so to. So far, yeah, with, like I said, with, with the, like you said, with the timing. Yeah. And then those little bass lists and stuff coming in and the melodic voice over the top. You have to be really brave to do this style of music. Oh, man. You have to know what you're doing. So already you can't miss. to the technique. Oh my god. <laughs> you can't miss. And like it's it's creating an atmosphere already. Oh, yeah. Like I'm ready. Like I'm yeah. strapped in and I'm like, okay, this yeah. is roller coaster, it's not scary yet, but <laughs> yeah. I'm already like in anticipation, yeah. like looking over the edge, yeah. like, oh you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> anyway, let's keep it rolling. <laughs> Who are you to wave your finger? You must have been out your hair. I hold deep in muddy waters. You practically raised the dead. Rob the grave to snow the cradle and burn the evidence down. Soapbox house of cards. Okay, so this has to be five four time. I yeah. think it's five four time. Um, um, if you you know, I don't know. Yeah, um, but they are so on. But here's the thing. It's, go ahead. Go I ahead. think there's two different things going on at the same time. I think the vocal singer is on his own thing, mm -hmm. doing his own time. That's and not then, a lady singing. No, nah, that's a dude. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's a dude. It could be a lady. No. Hard life. Okay. Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Uh, so like your mind went somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm a visual person and yeah. I, I saw someone anyway. Um uh so yeah, I think I think they're doing two so different things. And then yeah, they're doing yeah. something completely okay. different yeah. on the other side of it and it comes together to be something that's more beautiful. And you hear you can hear it a little bit mm -hmm. like a 
a little hint of the tribe, like a djembe in the background, mm -hmm. like some some tribal drums playing. So they're going for it. So, they create the atmosphere. so um, I'm trying to listen to the words. I'm really trying. I actually picked them up and I'm I'm looking at them and I'm trying to because I feel like I. When music, I, I told you before, when it's rock music, bro, I'm way more into the feel of what's happening around me than I am of actually the lyrics. And then on the other side of it, when it's, oh. no, I'm saying like yeah. most, like because there's so much going on musically that I'm like, okay, I'm trying to like, like, like where are we going? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not really hearing the lyrics as much as I normally would. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hearing. You, the am lyrics. I the only one who feels that way? No, with the rock music. You, like so, like um, like the rhythm is inside of me and everything. So it's locked in. I'm so now I'm on. It's kind of like having huh. a, a virtual reality thing. Oh, so yeah. now I'm in that world with the music. So that's locked in. Now I'm hearing the lyrics and it's akin to Stairway to Heaven where uh, most of the lyrics are metaphors for something else. Okay. That's because like some of the stuff isn't making natural sense. Yeah, I don't, I don't... And I would have to have a concordance and, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> concordance, bro. <laughs> Let's um, keep it. That is so great. So much house of cars and glass so don't go toss me your stuff. Hello, what? Yeah, Hello, I gotta keep my eyes closed. <laughs> the whole time, I didn't, see that I didn't either. The whole time, I was counting time in one place. It's kind of like when you hear a song that starts off in E flat, but the whole time the song is really in G flat, but mm -hmm. E flat is in that same key. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, this was the main, this is yeah. home. They, I did not know where they were in time until they came. That was I so did. good. That reveal was so worth it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Great. Re this is okay. These guys are brilliant. Four, four times. Dude, I, I gotta say, I just love how I just have a new love for rock music. I think because there's like they're so they're so technically sound and like smarter than everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just so much more advanced when it comes to their musicality than most of the you know of the typical like okay you're making the hit type people. You know what I'm saying? Like so people who rock with this have to rock with it because they see the creativity. But more than that. They are responsible for the vibe, and they know that. Like the vibe is completely throughout this whole thing. Like to be, a, I mean, a rock musician, you have to be rock. You have to be involved in the in the culture and understand the way it's supposed to feel. Because you don't know how it's supposed to feel, you can't get the message across to anybody else. And that means so much more than just being somebody who's technically sound. That's bro. That's a good way to put Yo. it. Um, because real rock fan, like real, recognizes real, and you can only produce. Uh, uh, fruit only produces after its own kind, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't, like you said, you can't fake this vibe. You can't fake nah. this stuff. There's nah. a lot of people that are technically sound. They spend a lot of hours playing, and that's yeah. all they do and things like that. But this is like, uh, this yep. is, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even want to try to qualify it yet. So. Mm -hmm. dance round this one till you pull it out. All right, I got to listen to it.
so okay so this goes back to me feeling the music and it being a vibe i'm catching some of the lyrics the lyrics are not that important to me um but i'm i'm, I'm, I'm asking myself does it ha does it matter what the lyrics are because if this is accomplishing in my soul what i need for it to accomplish if i if if this if this is producing the same taste does it matter mm. you know does it matter what it is where it came from or how it was produced Man, that hurts me. That well, but it hurts me partially because I'm a person who needs to connect to lyrics, and I I, I need to be able to catch something that's said that's you know life changing or, or, or moves me in a certain way or whatever more than I am on the music side of it. But this is making me realize that you know it's even though this is a whole thing, some people can vibe with that, and some people can vibe with this. And I'm okay with getting all of that in the mix because at the end of the day, I'm trying to get you connected with what I'm saying and what I'm feeling. But if you gonna connect one or the other, that's okay too. I didn't really think of it. Yeah. I never thought of it. You know what I'm saying? I never like when I think of like somebody's art. Like if I'm an artist, I want people to like everything. When I'm realizing that you know maybe there's people who like this channel and they don't like when I do this or when you do that or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't matter to me who likes what or whatever. As long as you're watching and you catching it, you getting the vibe. Like I didn't know music could do that. Yeah. And people could actually see it. So that for way. me, and no disrespect but, to the to the lyrics and the artists and things mm -hmm. like that, but like I would listen to this while I'm on a like a three mile drive, right, right, right. And just let it like lock in, hypnotize me, and I'm good. Yeah, but I think when I do when I do read the lyrics or whatever, and I see what is what I'm kind of catching, what I'm kind of catching is like this, like you know, who are you to do this? To wave your finger and, and judge me or whatever. Who are you to do this? You must have been high. You must have been like it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds like it, yeah, yeah. You must have been like that's how I'm catching it. You know what I'm saying? So like, cause of the, because of the mood of the music, you know what I'm saying? Because the mood of the music plus the lyrics kind of makes me feel like that kind of energy. Yeah. You feel me? So uh, yeah. All right, we had a couple of technical difficulties. Uh, my mic was off, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. So we back. You must have been. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know someone in the comments going to tell me everything I need to know about what actually happened during this time and why this song is what it is. So I appreciate that before I get <laughs> to it. I just want to say that because I'm, I'm catching, there's something here that definitely happened. Mm. You know what I mean? You know, he's, you know, he's talking about the lawyers and the situations that went on, whatever. It sounds like there's an actual event or something that they're singing about. Yeah. That yeah. The song came from. And I know somebody's going to be able to tell me that I'm just, I don't know what it is. So when you do tell me, I really appreciate it. I'll reach out to you as soon as I hear from you. It could be a soundtrack from a movie, though. It could have been I, written for a situation yeah, like that. Been, could have been. You know, I don't know, man. This is so. Here's my question. I know we're talking about lyrics and stuff. Like in a song like this, are the lyrics really meant to be heard, or do you have to like actually look up? Because it's hard for me to understand what they're saying. No, I guess you. With everything that's going, so that's why I don't really go to the like. I I like it, and the lyrics are cool when I'm when I'm catching them, but. It's just more of a, you know, so I don't know. Is it meant to be for, do people really understand what they're saying in time? Hmm. I don't know the answer to that. That's what I want to. I, I think that's a very interesting point. Uh, one more point before we go any further, because uh, it's the you must have been high thing. I had this thought about like band members and stuff like that, right? An electric, you know, you know, guitar player or the bass player and the drum player, they kind of in sync, they kind of ride in the groove or whatever. Like, I know a lot of rock bands did drugs and stuff, right? The one who did the, all the crazy weird stuff on the electric guitar, like you know, all the scratches or what, all that crazy, Jimmy interesting. I, I'm just saying the the artists in the crew oh, who oh. did that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They might have been the highest in the whole crew because <laughs> they seeing levels and doing weird stuff that don't make no oh, sense about okay. what's going on. Okay. They're seeing on a higher plane. I think that's kind of where their their mental state is when they're playing. Like when I'm listening to this, I can feel the energy of the song and yeah. the band and how they were driving this whole thing. And that's what I'm saying. I'm thinking about the lifestyle and the creativity that's involved with this. And, 
you know, a lot of times, you know, when people are on drugs, you know, their their brains are opened up a little bit. Yeah. Like, and, and certain ones, I ain't not, yeah. not, not all drugs, obviously. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm thinking about that person who's mm-hmm. on the electric guitar doing all that crazy. Like, I think that. But but the and I see what you're saying. So you, what you're saying is you're feeling the inspiration of where it might be coming from or how they might be yeah. might be feeling. The thing that I have to really commend them on is one thing is to feel that, whether they're sober or high. But it's another thing to be able to express that. Yeah. It's like this is what I feel like sound. Like, this is what I feel like, and this is and if if what, if my feeling was sound, this is what it would be. Mm-hmm. That's really awesome. All right, let's get back to this. Too. Did he say when you pissed all over my black kettle, you must have been high? That's really yeah. if that's what he said. That's really cool. The that, pot that, kettle those in the words kettle. Were said. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really okay. Yeah, I, I can, see y'all. Y'all creative. Okay. I'll when you pissed that. all over my black kettle, you must have been high. It makes sense, you know. Like you black, I'm black. Why you peeing on me? You must have been high, bro. Right. <laughs> anyway. That's not- <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> So many different sections. Like, can you pause it real quick? Like, when you watch, when you look at me read music or whatever, like the score, like there's like different scores. Like, everything's a different mm-hmm. section. I remember playing in band when I was a kid. And, um, you know what I mean? We're doing like, you know, some some huge piece when I try to like, you know, advanced groups or whatever. Uh, there were so many different sections. It didn't feel like one song. Mm-hmm. It was like, okay, there's this part of the song, and then there's a part where the guy has a guitar solo over here, and it makes you feel like this. And then this part where here is like telling a story. It's like a symphony where you're following, you know, when you did cartoons, whatever, it went from scene to scene to scene yeah. to scene to scene to scene to scene. It's basically like that, where like it, you're getting all these different sections of songs that all mean they're a, a different emotion, a different part, or whatever, a different feel, or a different drive. I, and I'm appreciating every different level that we're getting, mm, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. on this okay. this rock journey. Is that an animal running through the forest? Yeah, yeah. Definitely is movie soundtracks. But bro, that thing is almost talking. Bro, these guys are so yeah. that guitar. I can almost understand what the guitar is saying. Yeah, he's emotional, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is, it's oh, he. how musicians like sample other people's music and then put their music on top of it or whatever why don't people use this well you can't use this no this, this is dope bro this is what the jurassic bro. park no i mean like it, uh, definitely in the movie sense i'm just saying uh-huh. like there's just so many dope layers and lines and things you can steal and take and make it something it's just it everything every section is dope bro yeah like every section is dope like I, I think it's like i mean we don't i mean in this one song i probably heard like you know 16 different like <laughs> sections that meant right. something different you know what i'm saying right like, right this is so clean bro like, it's I, clean it's, I love it's this. clean technically sound oh my goodness i want to give a standing ovation after the end of this song yeah you know what I'm yeah There's so much good music happening. 
Okay, man. Okay, so I'm I'm in the, I'm in there. I'm in EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> I'm in the game right yeah. now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But he said uh, le- levels deep in muddy waters or something yeah. like yeah. that. Like who pissed him off? Uh, <laughs> this guy. It must have been hot when he was. It's just like man. You know, he um, I I love the fact that when in rock music, especially like when the vocals have to, the like the they have to come across the right way. It's not just Good the point. words. Good point. It's not just you know. It's got to be the tones. Got to be right. Yeah. The the energy's got to be right. Yeah. The you know like everything has to be exactly where it's supposed to be because it's mm-hmm. all about the 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 the, the whole thing. You, you know, know I mean? and that's the and, and that's a great point because a lot of times, uh, uh, musicians of this genre, their voices are very underrated. Mm-hmm. Uh, most people can't really do. And go the places that they go. Some of the screaming stuff is very technically sound. You're breathing. Extremely and, technical. Oh my gosh, they're, they're so it's talented. Not, it's not runs and like all that stuff like that. Even that's beautiful too. Yeah. But this is this art doesn't really get uh, the full lens that it should. I think because it's not as it's not a pre it's not as popular. This is not this isn't pop music. You know, like and, 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 it's, it's and the most popular Johnny Cash whole career. Three chords, G, yeah. C, and D. Yeah, they don't play every every chord. They don't play yeah. stuff. That, you know. Yeah, you gotta sit down with this for a minute. Yeah, you, know what I'm you, you gotta can't just you can't just you can't just breeze through it. So sit I, down yeah. for a spell. Yeah, yeah. man. Mm. And then everybody stood up, oh. started clapping. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I can see that at, a, at like a concert hall. Yes. Like they just did yep. some kind of. Mm-hmm. Oh man, um, I feel no like idea. I feel like I'm all. I feel like I'm all like like uh, Bill Burr said. I'm all keyed up. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I, I want to go do something. You know, like <laughs> dude, that was that was amazing. I want to see a rock concert in a studio hall like that, like where everybody's like, yeah. Like an orchestra type, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. They get up and they clap before them and they walk out and they got crazy except hair. They, except they, instead of wearing suits, they got on their own like whatever they were regular wearing. You know what I'm but with a cummerbund also to be respectful, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> a biker jacket with a yeah, yeah. I love well, that. listen, man, y'all keep sending us stuff. I'll y'all log it, on to the webpage, check out our podcast, yep. uh, like, subscribe, notify, all that stuff. If like you want that. us to keep listening to more rock music, uh, I'm here for it. I'm cool. I want to try. I mean, it's the last couple songs I've heard have been very interesting and dynamic, and yeah. uh, I think I'll be putting some rock music in the rotation soon. I think I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. What? Yeah, that movie messed you up. I mean, that it movie, was the it score. was the, the one little part. The where it sounded like oh, a yeah, sound like, like a, a big ass deer yeah. running through <laughs> my living room at night <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> When I'm trying to go to the bathroom, I'm like, ah, I wasn't gonna get like, a snack. Yeah, but it sounds like it sounds too real. Like, yeah, like, what you be? I'm gonna, that's all I'm gonna think about tonight. I'm gonna have some shoes in the dryer. It's gonna be, brrr, I'm be like, oh lord. <laughs> anyway, shout for shout reacts. Yeah. D and Dre, appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for listening.